Hello, welcome to this example. The green tree has now been taken over by new management and they previously thought that the green tree sounded a bit boring. So they want to liven it up a bit and starting with the name and the pub sign. So they are going to rename it the flying pig. I'm going to show you how to do that. If you go into the tutorial files there's an ArtCam file called pig. What you need to do is to open that file and then go into your clip art library. I've put it under animals and then just select the relief layer and drag it into here. Here we have my pig. Close my clip art library and I'll select new model. I'll change the height and the width to 250 and OK that and notice I've changes now I'll open the relief clip art library under animals I'll come down to pig and select it press alt and then move it down a little and then I'll paste that there and close it. Go into my 3D view so you can see the pig. There we have a cute little pig. Go back onto my 2D view. Make sure that this front relief layers are shown. I'll rename that to pig and I'll create a new layer and rename that. Pegasus. What I'm going to do is go into Fantasy and there we have a Pegasus. I'm going to steal the wings from the Pegasus and put them on to the pig. So I'll click on Pegasus and as you can see the wings go in to the right. I need the wing going to the left. I'll select Rotate and then Horizontal which will mirror it and then click apply so it's turned it round. I'll press shift and alt just to move this up. Move over. This particular wing is going to be the back wing so I need to make this quite small and I'll move it down and I need to rotate it round just so it adds a bit of perspective. That should do fine right click the Pegasus and select merge high and I'll select merge highest for the mode on my clip art and I'll select paste close that go into 3D view now you can see it's a mishmash of a pig and Pegasus hybrid thing so what I'm going to do is to chop the wing from off the Pegasus so I'll create a polyline and I'll just switch my relief layer on so I can actually see where the wing is and then just draw around the wing where I'm going to want it to cut so I'll select inside there and then I'll follow the wing down here and then join it back up there escape that there's my polyline so if I now click relief cookie cutter what this will do it will create two layers one with whatever's inside this polyline and then the other layer will be whatever's outside the polyline so I'll select relief cookie cutter and this has given me a new layer this new layer as you can see is the one with the wing on it so I'll rename that to wing and then I'll turn off the Pegasus. If I go into my 3D view now, you can see I've got a wing. So drag the wing back into my clip art library. And then it creates the wing. And now I'm going to scale this wing down because it's the back wing and it's supposed to be in the distance. And also you can see here it's popping through the pig. So I'll select scale relief, change it to 2, 
and apply that. And then you can see the wings at the back of the pig. That's fine. So I'll close that and there we have the back wing of the pig. Now I'm going to select the wing again. Go back onto my 2D view. Turn that off and move this wing. I need to rotate this back round just so it's straight. And I'll make it just a touch bigger. That will do. And make sure that it's in between the tail and just behind the front ear. That will do there. And I'll paste that and close that. There we have the front wing along with the back wing. As you can see here, it's got a sharp edge. This is from where I cut it from the Pegasus. So I'll just go into the Sculpting Tools, click Smooth, and Diameter, move that down, and then just smooth it. Just run that along it. Just so it blends in a bit better. I'll then close some Smoothing Tools. Close my clip art library and then rotate that round and there we have a flying pig. So I'm going to merge these two layers together so it creates the one pig. So I'll select merge visible and rename this layer to flying pig. Then if I open Clip Art Library back up and then drag the flying pig into here, there you have the flying pig. If I turn off the flat plane and then drag it in, I'll override it, then it will give me the pig without the background. So now I have my flying pig saved within the Clip Art Library. I'll close the Clip Art Library and I'll create a new model. It's going to be the same size as the Green Tree Pub sign, so I'll change the height to 600 and the width to 500 and then OK that. I don't want to save the changes, it's already in the clip art library so I'm not too concerned with that. Now I'll open up the clip art library again, this time go back to signs where we save the pub sign and select that and paste it. That should be the exact same size as this sheet. Close. Go into 3D view. There we have the original pub sign. And then I'll find my flying pig under fantasy. Select flying pig. Change the mode to add because I want to add it onto the recessed dome. And if I select the preview relief layer I can see whereabouts the dome it is. So I'll F9 that and then press Alt, move it up to the centre of the dome. That should do. And then I'll paste that. Close the clip art. I can close the clip art library now. If I go into the 3D view, you can see my peak within the dome. Go back onto my 2D view. I'm just going to create the circle which is again 300mm diameter and I'll just F9 to centre that. Press Alt. Just move it up so it's somewhere near. Go back onto my 3D view and I'm going to create a texture within this dome and the pig. So I'll turn vector visibility on and select my two vectors which is the circle and the pig and I'll create a texture relief. I'm going to use from file and if I go into desktop and select clouds large 
so there we have the texture for the clouds I'm going to change the width of this to 750 and I'm going to change mode instead of adding it I'm going to subtract it so I'll click subtract make sure that I have selected vectors on and click subtract this will add it between the two vectors so if I close that there and zoom in you can see turn off my vectors you can see it's added a cloud texture to the back of the pig just to give it the effect that it is actually flying as you can see there are a few jagged edges along the pig here so I'm just going to smooth this out so I'll click smooth relief and I'll select three passes along the whole layer and then apply and you'll see this getting smoother see so that's smoothed it out quite nicely now if I zoom back out the pig looks quite nice the final part now is to create the text for the flying pig so if I select text and come up to art script height do that about 188 say and I'll create text flying pig and I'll F9 to center it press alt and move down I'll create the I'll change the height to say 100 the and I'll align that to the right this time and then move it down I'll do the same thing to create the text I'll use the contour blend tool so I'll turn vector visibility on go to contour blend linear instead of a subtract this time I'm going to add it so it's a beveled edge and I'll select my text and create shape let's give a nice crisp bit of text and then close my contour blend zoom back out turn off vector visibility and I'll go to my lights and material and I'll select medium oak again and apply that and there we have our finished flying pixel thanks for watching bye